I'm going to make a viral app and the catch is I'm only using AI to do this. I refuse to even write one single line of code. Will this be possible? I guess we're gonna have to find out. But before we even get started, what viral app are we going to be creating? There is an app called Touchgrass that tracks how much time you spend on social media apps. And after you go over a certain time, it blocks you from using these apps. That is until you literally go outside and take a picture of yourself touching grass. I can't make this up. It's literally going viral. And this app uses AI to verify if the picture is actually of you touching grass and you're not just submitting a random bathroom selfie. This app has been featured on TikTok, Instagram, and has got a lot of attention in various communities and social media, especially on X. I mean, you can tell why it's going viral. The idea is great since everyone spends hours a day on socials. And let's be honest, you and I both need to go touch some grass. I mean, you're literally watching a video on me building an app touching grass. Okay, so with the idea in mind, the next step is figuring out how are we going to get AI to do it? I mean, which AI tool are we even going to use? With the recent trend of vibe coding and AI assistance, there are so many tools to choose from. You have Cursor, Lovable, Bolt, and more. But if you are going to make a viral app, I say we use a viral AI tool as well. The name of this tool is Madness. Madness is an AI assistant that can do a ton of tasks. It has been going super viral on social media and literally every AI company is looking at Madness like what the f type of energy are you on? And it's free to use for now. I mean, I'm sure they're going to start charging people as well. So while it's free, better go use it. So now that we decided we are going to be using Madness, we're going to see if it can exactly give us what we're looking for. However, there's a problem. If I told you to tell me to describe the app in a way such that I know exactly what you want me to create, could you do it? No, like pause the video and try it. Write down a description of what you want me to create. It's way harder than you think. Okay, I know you didn't pause the video, but it's okay, don't worry. I can't write one either. And if you think you can, guess what? AI can write a way better description than you ever could. So here's what we're going to do. We'll give Manus a quick description of what we want and then tell it to turn it into a feature list and a more complete description of what we want. This is because writing a proper software description for building an app is something that a lot of people and companies get wrong. Okay, so what do we want? We want to make sure the first version of our app has our core features. Core features are the features that your app must have for it to work. So for us, it's the following. We wanna make sure our app, which we would call Fieldgrass, tracks social media app usage. We will also make sure after every 60 minutes, it blocks these social media apps from being used until the user sends a photo of themselves touching grass. We have to make sure it has AI verification so that the picture submitted is of the person touching grass. And finally, we also want to check when the photo is created because if it's a recent photo, then we know that the person didn't just find us off of Google Images. I also gave some images to Manus AI of the potential UI that we wanted to create because by looking at these pictures, it can see, oh, okay, I can create a UI that looks something like this. I mean, we don't want our apps UI looking like this. Like that will be trash. So this is the description we are giving Manus and we will ask Manus to give us a more complete, thorough description. And this is what we got as a result. Okay, cool, step one, check. Now it's time to do what we really set out to do. We're going to feed this exact description back into Manus and give Manus one simple command, build it. Now, one thing that's kind of annoying about Manus is it constantly asks for you to answer some pretty obvious questions. Like, yes, I want you to deploy it. Yes, I want you to build this part. Like, duh. But hey, better safe than sorry. Anyways, roll that montage again. Okay, so our app is ready to test. Overall, it has some pretty cool UI components, modern styling, but the app still looks a little bit funky overall. Like, it's not bad for first version, but can definitely be better. But again, it's an MVP, right? The main thing we wanna make sure is that our core features are there and they work. So we have the social media tracking and we have the photo submission feature. But now we actually have to make sure that this photo submission feature actually works. We can't let a bad photo go through. What the f All right, so that didn't go as planned. What we have to do now is tell Manus, hey man, your AI verification feature is wrong. Please fix it. Okay, so now let's test again. And it worked, but we are not done yet. Our core features are done, but the UI still looks pretty funky. Now in the app world, the idea is to ship fast. So as long as the app works, even if it looks a little bit sus, you should release it to the public. This allows you to test bugs, get early feedback, and make your app even better. Now, I have a question for you. If you join my free school community, go to this mass AI section and download the project files, can you make the UI look even better? I think you can. So I look forward to seeing your UI.